according to Adesua Itomi Wellington, I went off social media for almost three months last year. The most peace I've had, traveled with my baby, did fun things, took very few pictures, spent a lot of time in the presence of God, had some of the most important meetings of my life, and none of it is online. I get to keep it for me, the best, in fact, I should go off again to end the year. Mm. I don't know why social media wouldn't allow you to do all of those things that you've just mentioned. In my opinion, mm. I, I don't see anything brand. It's not yeah, like not putting a, it out there. What, 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 what I'm saying is, all these things that she's listed, why is that affecting... Why, what, why is social media stopping you from having that? From having to take a trip with your bae, to have private time, to... I don't know. If maybe this was an influencer that lived... I'm not a celebrity, Sha. Maybe I don't know the realities of things. I don't know the kind of pressure that she's under, but... For a social media user that's just using it for vibes, mm. it hasn't changed much about my life. If I'm tired, I take it off. I don't need to detoxify myself from social media. Maybe because I'm not just that into it and I'm not, it's not, um, what's it called, controlling my life. Maybe mm. it's a bit different for her. She needs to be able to step back from it. But for me personally, I wasn't moved or like wild or like she needs an applause because it feels like something you can achieve even with social media. Um, I think, um, like you said, um, she's a celebrity, so the celebrity lifestyle is different. For everything you wear, top to bottom, somebody mm -hmm. has something to say about it. And those things, these people are human, it affects their mental health. Imagine you're feeling all good about yourself, you post a picture that you think is nice, and somebody goes there to be like, look at this bend down selects, mm -hmm. you get like stuff like that. So for three months straight without no negative, um, comments from nobody. But she getting negative comments from real life. What's all this? I don't know, no, no. In, in real life, depending on where you're hanging out, if you're hanging out around toxic people, of course you will get negative. There's no comments. human being that doesn't have an inch of or an ounce of negativity to offer any day, even if it's as simple as. So you're telling me that her friends cannot say, "Oh, babes, I don't really like this hairstyle," or everyone is just like the way you just said it is not the house. way a troll Social would say media, it. I guess so. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, and. Um, um, the fact that sometimes you need to compartmentalize your life as well. You mm. can't just put everything out there. There has to be times where you keep some things off social media, such as family, such as your love life, such as your spiritual life. She says she's got to spend time in the presence of so the social Lord. Social media is affecting her from doing that. I don't... Okay, you see... Okay, I'm, some people... I li I'm liking empathy on this story, and I think it's... Honestly, maybe because I'm not a celebrity and I don't have that much trolls coming on me. I'm not going to say that I'm completely free of trolls or, that I, or I don't understand that social media can be a bit toxic. Mm. But it's really simple for me. It's in my head, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. She's making it seem like it's some like, overrated thing. Like, I feel like you can continue life as an adult without I, staring at social I media. I hope you, I would like to hear you say the same thing in the next three years because I'm mm -hmm. sure maybe by then you would be a celebrity. Mm -hmm. So maybe you would still be able to maybe. say this. Maybe I'll be able to empathize but, with her yeah. more. I'll, I'll, I'll remember but this But I think I know where she's coming like, from. Okay, I'm not a celebrity. celebrity. Yeah. No, calm down. Oh, but I think I know. No, there are just times where you just need that. You know, there was, there was a time I did the same too. I went off social media for a long time. A lot of people couldn't find me until recently when they started seeing my work and a lot of people are coming back like, dude, they just went MIA, do you understand? Mm. But I feel like those people, I didn't even have to talk to them because even now that I'm talking to them, they're not bringing anything to the table. They are mm. still reminding you of your past. Mm. So sometimes it's just good to just cut off a lot of people of and then just leave and, your yeah. life okay. to the fullest. You see, when you put that conversation like that, I can understand that where there's some points where you need to detoxify. It doesn't matter where it is. It could be social media, it could be friends, it could yeah. be... Sometimes work even, and mm. you just need to, you know, take a take a step back and breathe or whatever. I understand that. I think maybe for me, the problem with this story was that it was emphasizing too much of like, a, um, like there was a like the, there was like a direct impact between achieving all those things on social media. Like you can't have both of them, and that's what is kind of turning me off on the story that you can't hang out with your bae and get closer to God and have meetings. I don't go online. And still be on social media. Like I feel like you can be on social media. That, those two things well, don't yeah, take away from each other. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe when she says went off social media completely, I think what she meant was that she 
privatized her life. She wasn't posting yeah. a lot of okay. stuff, but it doesn't mean she wasn't checking what was going on on social media. I want to believe no one, unless you're leading, living under a rock. You, it's mm -hmm. almost inevitable not to see what's going on on social media. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you Even go on Google. Up, yeah. yeah, matter of fact, you go on Google and then you see some things that will still lead you to Instagram, mm -hmm. to Twitter, to a lot of other platforms. So I don't think she stayed off completely, but putting her own life out there, I think she just said she had three months to compete compartmentalize and her life. Things yes, as well. and I mean, it, it, things. So, it clearly worked amazing. for her. So yeah, it worked for her. And, and then whatever works for you, that's 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 what um, that's that's I what we preach over that. here. Love to see it. Exactly.